वेलकम बैक यूर सेल ट्यून इन टू पावर ब्रेकफास्ट एंड लेट्स टॉक अबाउट ऑल ऑफ द क्यूज फ्रॉम द कमोडिटी मार्केट्स नाउ वी हैव मनीषा जॉइनिंग आस मनीषा गुड मॉर्निंग क्रूड इज बैक एट ऑलमोस्ट एटी थ्री सो वॉट्स रिली लेट टू दिस बिग अप मूव दिव सीन Morning, Pavitra. Well, absolutely. The dollar index slipping is uh, what really did the trick here, and we've seen the crude oil prices regain all the ground that it lost in the last four or five trading sessions. So yesterday was a weak day because you, we were dealing with the numbers of U.S. crude stocks, which gained up by 12 million barrels versus 2.3 million barrels of an expectation. So you saw many times higher the inventory build up in U.S. U.S. Uh, production also is at a record high, so that is what continues to keep keep the prices in check. But apart from that, the Middle East tensions, the global growth uh, demand estimates for 2024, whether it is from OPEC or IEA, is between 1.2 to 2.2, and that has been supportive. Apart from that, IEA while estimates the supply growth increase as well, but the markets do believe that as and when we start looking at interest rate cuts and the Chinese demand coming back, you could be looking at support coming in for crude. As of now, $80 a barrel seems to be acting. Like a pivot point for the crude prices, but a sharp decline is what we realized. We saw at in case of the natural gas prices, that one is trading at a three and a half year lows. The gas storage in US is 15 to 16 percent higher than what it usually is during this seasonal demand period. Apart from that, it also is mild weather forecast since first of March, and the producers may reduce output going forward. So as and when that happens, you could see some support coming in for prices. But overnight, we also have seen the metal prices come into positive. The decline in dollar has been supportive. Also, the U.S. retail sales saw a bit of a decline, and then there were statements from the Chicago Fed president saying that central banks should be wary of waiting too long before cutting rates, and that also had its impact and is the reason you've seen buying come back in many of the commodities. these in asia right now all right manisha thanks a lot for getting us all of those updates clearly there are big moves that we've been seeing in the commodity markets as well